Hello, everyone. Welcome to EECS 2030 Fall 2021. I'm Jackie, your instructor for Section B and Section E. I hope you really had a good summer and let me welcome you uh, warmly to the course. For those of you who took uh, 1022 in the winter uh, 2021 with me, it's so nice to see you again. And for those of you who didn't take any course with me before, welcome you to Jackie's class. I really hope that uh, I can help you on your learning throughout the semester. So for every week, I'm actually going to make some introduction video, uh, hopefully within 10 or 15 minutes, just to tell you what the work items are in the coming week so that you can uh, plan ahead for your time. I'm pretty sure you got other commitment as well, but it's also very important for you to plan the time for the work item for this, uh, for this course. It's a very important foundational course for learning more advanced stuff. Uh, for object-oriented programming in Java, which will impact your performance in subsequent courses uh, in your program. So I think uh, I'll do my best and hopefully you will dedicate enough attention to me as well. Okay, so for this week, uh, I want to go over the work items that you're supposed to do and then uh, off you go, you should really do the work. Let me first of all tell you where my homepage is in the departments. So you can go to www.ecs.yoku.ca forward slash tell the Jackie. So that's how you get to my homepage. Once you get there, go under lectures and then you will see under 2021 fall, we got 2030. So this is a public domain uh, site. So you don't definitely, you definitely don't need any ECS login or passport York uh, login to uh, get access to the materials. So you can always get there even after the course is finished for your learning. If you click on that, and there is one link over here for my weekly Zoom office hour. You can see the, the time in the course syllabus. And uh, for the schedule labs, I will publicize the URLs for the TAs on the E-class. There's another E-class site for the course, which uh, you will see very soon. And uh, you can, uh, I'll publicize the Zoom URL for the TA so you can uh, also connect to them uh, when it's on their duty. Okay, so I got three sections over here for the background. For those of you who actually might find some supplementary uh, materials or optional materials useful to review your basics, this is the these are the sections for you to review. Very quickly, this part here is optional uh, pre-study material which I sent it out uh, in the summer, but this may no longer be applicable, so you don't need to worry about this anymore. And for those of you who might be interested, it's optional for you to actually uh, try to back up and manage your software projects for Java, for Eclipse, onto GitHub. So it's a very common and sound software engineering practice, which I hope I will encourage you to really adopt for this course. Uh, if you took a 1022 with me, most likely you have been adopting this practice already. If you haven't, now will be the time to try that. If you got any issue on setting this up, get back to me. Okay. And this will be a very important background tutorial video which I created for your fellow students for ECS 1022 in the winter 21. So if you click on that, it's a long series of weekly tutorial videos which taught you Java from scratch, okay? Uh, you definitely don't need to go over them, it's optional. However, I would encourage you to at least for those of you who may not be familiar with Eclipse, you might be using other IDE such as IntelliJ. You are actually required to adopt, uh, adapt to Eclipse for this course. So I would suggest at least go over the week number one uh, tutorial videos over here, which will help you set up the uh, work environments on Eclipse. Also, it will show you how to use the uh, remote labs, uh, which will be a back, uh, backup option for you. You can definitely complete all the uh, programming tests and also laboratory exercises using the Eclipse on your machine. But just in case, if the installation does not work or are, is corrupted, in that case, you still got a remote lab to actually as a backup option for you to com uh, complete your work, okay? So I would say at least week number one, you may want to go over to uh, get yourself familiar with the Eclipse. And those of you who are not familiar with the idea about debugger, which is your best friend when none of the TA or the instructor is around you. In, uh, debugger is your best friend for finding issues in your software. So you may also want to look at uh, week number two, uh, part B, C, D, and E for debugging, okay? Uh, of course, you're also welcome to drop by my weekly office hour where ask me questions about debugger during the q and I'll be also happy to help you, okay? And for the rest of the uh, tutorial videos over here, only choose the parts that you might find useful for you to review the basics. If you are pretty confident with your basics, you don't need to bother. But otherwise, you may want to find some parts over here. 
All right. Let me go back to the ECS 2030 page. And I also got some background slides over here about elementary programming, if conditional, and loops and arrays. And when you go over the slides, if there's any particular part that you might think you will need some further explanation, you can feel free to click on this link over here, ECS 1022. That's my complete lecture recordings uh, from the winter. So you can definitely find all the parts for explaining the slides over here. You can definitely uh, also take that as an optional learning material for you if you want to review the basics. Okay, And especially you can see towards the end of uh, towards a half of that course, we actually talk about OOP. You can see also, for example, if you want to review static variables, that's actually where you go. All right. Again, that's optional. And about your coming week one and week two. For week one and week two, good news, we don't have any lectures to uh, for you to study. On the other hand, what I decided to do for the first time for 2030 was I decided that for the first week, uh, for the first two weeks, it's so crucial for us to review the basics of OOP. So what I did instead is to create a tutorial uh, series for reviewing the OOP in, in Java. It's uh, completely brand new. I just recorded a few days ago and I will continue uh, to finish that. So for the first two weeks, week number one and week number two, your, your only uh, required task is to finish uh, studying the tutorial videos and then you will be required to make some submission for the code as uh, so you type together with me on the screen. And then of course there will be some required materials alongside with the tutorial videos to help your understanding. Okay, let me just go over that very quickly. How do you get to the tutorial videos uh, that's required? You will click on the pl uh, video playlist. I have already done the part one. So part one is for week number one, okay, for the coming week. And you can also click on iPad notes over here. So that's the written notes I did when I did the visual illustration. You can definitely find them here as well, right? In case you want to uh, review uh, the illustration. And for part one, for week number one, you got uh, 14 videos to watch, okay? Approximately uh, four hours of the videos for you to watch. But usually the lecture hours will be three hours. And then I'm just giving you one extra hour to, uh, to uh, also account for that we don't have any scheduled lab session for the very first week, all right? So four hours, I think uh, for those of you who are, might be, uh, who, who are interested in doing review uh, for Java, I'm pretty sure this uh, uh, review uh, tutorial series will help you, right? Just uh, don't skip any videos, just uh, take your time and try to watch uh, maybe two to three videos uh, per day. I try to restrict every video to be about 15 or 20 minutes with some very few exceptions. So I would say, yep, yeah, just uh, enjoy the series and review your foundation, right? So that's about most of it. And let me now go back to, uh, just to tell you, uh, numerate the work items you will need, okay? As I said before, for week number one and two, you're only going to, you're only going to study the review uh, tutorial videos. And then you will be given lab zero part one and also lab zero part two for submissions. So you will see the instruction in the e-class. You will also receive announcement from me as well, okay? And I just show you the link about the uh, tutorial video playlist. And uh, these are the slides that you, uh, you are required to study. So these are meant for review uh, of the classes and objects. So if you go back to the link, if you click on that, so that's the slides. I believe for the part one, you will go all the way up to and including slide 49, okay? So that's what you gotta do, right? All the slides here. In the tutorial series, I try to I try to interleave between the slides and the Eclipse development, so you can see both the theory and the practice. Right. Let me go back, and of course, this is just a reminder of the lecture site uh, link that I just have shown to you. But you can always go to my homepage and navigate uh, there. Okay, and there will be two required notes for study. So these notes will only be used in week number two. However, I would suggest you might be most free. You might be uh, most uh, mostly free from any uh, assignment for other courses. So I would suggest you start studying for these two notes from week number one. That's I highly recommend you do that. Okay, let me show to you quickly. So if I go back here, the first note is about how you can infer JUnit test cases from. Uh, sorry, how you can infer classes and methods and attributes from JUnit test cases. So this is going to be the formats for most of the labs and also your programming tests. So this is really important for you to uh, go over this document and get back to me if you got any clarification needed. The second document is about a programming pattern of declaring 
an array type attributes, primitive array. So my philosophy is you should, uh, in, a, uh, in a foundational course like this, you should really try to develop everything from scratch using the primitive array rather than using some pre-developed uh, library classes like an array list or linked list uh, that people already de develop for you. So I think uh, the former will be much better. So this one is about the programming pattern. So you can also review that. I'm going to do some uh, example based on this notes in part two of the tutorial video. So I think uh, you, uh, your safest bet will be to maybe go over this notes in the first week before I actually got into the details for that. All right. Okay, let me go back. Let's quickly review the learning objectives for week number one. Well, learning objective is really about review of the object-oriented programming in Java, for sure, as I mentioned, right? So including the object orientation process, which I call observe, model, and execute. You will see that in the tutorial video. And also how uh, review quickly about classes attributes and also constructors, including default constructor and overloaded constructor. You will also see that. Accessors versus mutator, right? Hopefully you still remember from the first year. If you don't remember, now is the time to recall. And we'll talk about the new keyword this keyword and also the dot notation. So you might have a chain of method calls. For example, some objects dot and one dot M2, maybe with some arguments dot M3, something like that. That's something you want to review as well. Okay, of course, there's no dot at the end. Okay, we'll also review about JUnit testing. Okay, by using assertions. Those of you who uh, took a uh, 1022 with me in the winter, so you may have seen uh, lots of JUnit testing uh, already. So now you'll be a good time to review. If you haven't, now will be the time to pick up uh, pick up the uh, JUnit test uh, testing. And most importantly, we want to see how you can trace object creations and method calls. I try to do as much visual illustration as possible so that I can help you to see the consistency between debugger on the Eclipse and also visual um, tracing on the paper. So I think you need both for your problem solving skills. And as I mentioned, we are going to use the Eclipse IDE. It's actually required. You cannot use any other tool for developing your work and make submission. So you're going to look at the editor, console application, and JUnit's uh, panel, and also debugger. So this will be the focus for sure, right? I already pointed to you the tutorial video you can look at. What about a milestone for week number one? For week number one, we actually uh, will have two uh, Q&A sessions. For section B, it's gonna be on, when, uh, so section B is going to be on uh, September 8th, it's a Wednesday. And also for September 9th, it's a Thursday. It will be for section E. I'm going to go over, uh, I'm going to host a live Zoom session to go over the course syllabus and take any question you might have related to the uh, administrative issues of this course. And you want to really complete the lab zero part one, which you will see is instruction very soon. And then you want to uh, finish the review tutorial videos part zero to part 13. You got 14 videos to finish. And then get ready for the Q&A session next week. Not this week, but next week. It will be September 15 and September 16. I will hold a Q&A session to answer your question. There is a Google Doc uh, on the uh, ECS 2030 website over here. You can see, uh, let me show you quickly. Uh, I, I don't have that over here, but that's okay. You will soon see a link about whether you have questions. Let me just refresh the page to see if there's anything. Oh, there we go, okay. So under questions, you can see post your question in the in this document. You can click on that and then post your questions over there, right? You can ask any question related to the lecture uh, slides or the review tutorials or any other general question you may want to ask. I will try to answer uh, to my best ability. Okay, finally, I want to speak about for the extra practice, if you want to see anything extra, some extra examples, some extra explanation about the basics, you, you want to go to the Java tutorial from 1022, uh, Winter 21. Again, it's uh, over here. Oh, not here. So got so many tabs open. This one here, right? So we got a weekly uh, tutorial videos teaching you Java from, uh, from scratch. If you're not so confident, you may want to take this opportunity in the first few weeks to catch up. Otherwise, you will get lost very easily in the later weeks when we talk about the more advanced stuff. All right, so that's about what you can expect for the coming week. And I really hope that you will enjoy this course. During the course, if you got any questions, concern, 
or suggestion, please get in touch with me. All right, happy studying.